Good morning and thank you for stopping by the 2023 Division Three Men's Hockey Selection Show. Charlie Clifford with you this morning. It's time to reveal 12-team NCAA Tournament bracket. These 12 spots include nine automatic qualifiers for postseason conference champions, three at-large berths. The top four teams are going to receive a bye for Saturday's opening round. Eight teams will skate in the quarterfinals March 18th. The host site of both the semifinal and the national championship game decided following the quarterfinals. March 24th, it's the puck drop on the semis. The national championship game, March 26th. This is the 2023 bracket. The initial first round by goes to the United Collegiate Hockey Conference champion Utica. The Pioneers, winners of 18 straight heading into the NCAA Tournament Conference Coach of the Year. Gary Heenan puts eight all UCHC selections on the ice, headlined by Defensive Player of the Year, Jason Dobey, and the Division III's top wins man between the pipes, Brian Landsberger. Remy Parker, already the owner of Utica's single season goals record with 23. Utica is going to prep for this matchup, beginning with Plymouth State, the Mascac postseason champs. For a fourth straight season, the Panthers aim for their first NCAA tournament victory. Program record 23 wins, 21 credited to goaltender Brendan Brawley. Senior forward miles a bit, fifth all time on the Plymouth State points list. Craig Russell, recently the winningest coach in Panthers history. That number is now up to 218 career victories. The Nor'easters of the University of New England will meet Plymouth State. An at-large bid for Kevin Swallow's team out of the Commonwealth Coast Conference coming off the program's first trip to the national semifinals just one season ago. The Nor'easters ran off 11 straight without a defeat before falling to Curry in the CCC semis. The Nor'easters led by defensive defenseman Alex Sheehy and forward Jake Fuss. The second bye, it's going to the reigning national champions of Adrian. The HCA, the NCHA's, excuse me, automatic qualifier, Bulldog Senior out of Slovakia, Matus Spudniak, the nation's leading scorer with 28 goals, Adam Krug, the highest active winning percentage among all active NCAA hockey coaches. This is the battle to get to Adrian in the quarters. The WIAC champion, Wisconsin Stevens Point. Six-time national champs, IA second national title over the past three seasons. The Pointers boast the top penalty kill unit in America. Ontario's own Fletcher Anderson, top scorer on the team, and also a member of the Stevens Point golf team. The Mayak postseason champions, Augsburg. They're going to meet Wisconsin Stevens Point. The Augies, an automatic qualifier. They return to the NCAA tournament for the sixth time over the past seven seasons. Greg May trying to take another step forward this March. Remember, this team was in the national semis this past season. The third bye, the goals of Endicott. A historic CCC championship game as fourth rank Endicott defeats fifth rank Curry six to nothing. The goals posted a league record 18 conference wins this season. R.J. Tolan's team entered the postseason ranked nationally in the top 10 in power play percentage, scoring defense, scoring margin, scoring offense, team assist, and team points. Another showdown set in the opening round. It starts with Plattsburgh State. The Cardinals, the Sunyak postseason tournament title team. Back in the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2017. You can thank Junior. Out of Ottawa, Bennett Stockdale, who blossomed into the top scorer for Steve Moffitt, the two-time national champs. Hungry for number three, the Cardinals' most recent triumph. You have to go back to 2001. Norwich, a coveted second of the three at-large berths sent to the team out of the NEHC. The cadets anxiously watched Hobart's win over Babson yesterday. Cam Ellsworth club allowing the second fewest goals per game in the country this season. Seventh overall in penalty kill at over 90% for the year. 
Four-time national champs, now four wins from returning to college hockey's mountaintop for the first time since 2017. The final buy goes to the Hobart Statesman, the automatic qualifier out of the NEHC Hobart. Among the final eight teams to skate one year ago, this season, sophomore out of Philly, Luke Aquaro leads the nation with six game-winning goals. Between the pipes, freshman Damon Beaver tops the country in save percentage. Hobart will wait this duel. Curry earning the final at-large bid. It's Curry's first NCAA tournament berth in 12 years. The Commonwealth Coast Conference runner-up sparked by freshman Gage Dill. He's tied for the team lead with 15 goals. Curry's bounced by a score of 6-0 to zero in the title game by Endicott, but a 21-5-1 regular season, enough to make the field. Bowdoin College, the final spot in the field, an automatic bid for the NESCAC postseason champs. Bobby Pearl, the game winner in overtime for the Polar Bears. It was heartbreak for Williams, the Cinderella, who made the tournament final despite just nine wins on the season. Bowdoin senior score. The man from Maine, Andy Stoneman, 25 points on the season for the Polar Bears. Bowdoin's first NCAA tournament trip since 2014. So the field of 12, there it is, it's complete. And now this story is ready to be written at the men's Division III NCAA tournament. Key dates to keep close this month, the first round, Saturday. Four quarterfinal matchups Saturday, March 18th. The semis Friday, March 24th. The national championship game Sunday, March 26th. Both the semis and the national title game will be streamed live on NCA.com. For Charlie Clifford and the dedicated team who pieced together every detail this morning, you enjoy the action on the ice. This story is ready to be written. Have a great week, everybody. There's an energy swelling out beyond the limits of your expectations. A universe where fandom reigns supreme. Once you're in it, it changes you. Instead of one of one, you're one of many. A blissful sea of chaos. Go beyond your limits and enter the NCAA universe. Get your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets.